So we're in Lone Mountain, Oregon, a little town called O'Brien. It's actually just south of Cave Junction, Oregon. We got here yesterday. There's not a whole lot to do here to see. Uh, a couple of key things that we're looking forward to though. One, which we're heading off to right now, is the Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve. So we're taking the girls, they're gonna dig this. I'm gonna dig this. I think Lacey's gonna dig this. Uh, but we're actually gonna go do the tour that I reserved yesterday for uh, being able to go through. And we're gonna be like 220 feet down into the mountain. They said it's cold. You said it maintains a solid 42 or 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're just a little warmer when we get there. But uh, that's gonna wrap up our day today. Uh, we did do a little shopping over in Grants Pass, Oregon. And then tomorrow, we didn't know what we were gonna do tomorrow, but we found a place called Great Cats World Park. Uh, and right next door to Great Cats World Park is a tiger preserve. And roughly across the street from both of those is a butterfly preserve. And from those of you who paid attention to last week's video, Scarlett was super interested in trying to catch a butterfly. Uh, why not take her to a preserve? So we'll hit that up tomorrow. Uh, if we have time, we've only got tonight and tomorrow night left here. We'll see what tomorrow holds, but the Redwoods are about an hour south of us from where we're at. If we can get it in in time, we'll hit the Redwoods also. Everybody says you gotta see the Redwoods. No promises, we're gonna try though, we'll see. Uh, but then uh, beyond that, we're heading off into California. So, but for now, uh, on our way, Oregon Caves. Uh, we're definitely gonna try and get some footage of that for you guys. The girls, too, they're gonna dig it. As long as they let me bring the video camera in, we'll be good. But, uh, yeah, you know, we'll see what we got. To everybody where we're at? Cave Junction. Cave Junction. When the Oregon Caves. We made it up the hill. It was very windy. It was really windy? No? Yeah? It was a little windy. The girls got out the truck. They said, ah, my belly doesn't feel very good. They held out okay. They did fine. Uh, Lacey freaked out a couple times because uh, we'll show on some of the footage here. The road is kind of close to the edge and off the edge it sure. down so she thought we were going to roll to our death. gonna try and get some footage in these caves. Uh, they have bats in there. I don't know if we're gonna see the bats. You wanna see a bat? Yeah? All right, let's see what we can do. Do they bite?
huh? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for insects. I'm not seeing anything right now. They like to run away from our light, of course, because right, right. most of them are adapted to live in the dark for the most part. But sometimes you see cave crickets in here. Other things like millipedes. Um, this is the bat's favorite entrance. They like to hang out in here. There was one that used to always sit in that it was there for about a month every single day, all of April. Grand call? Just the grand call? The youngest column in the cave. Only 50 years old. Just joined up a few years ago. So for those of you that don't know, and it took a reminder on our end too, is that a difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite is a stalactite hangs from the ceiling, stalagmite on the ground growing up. But when the two meet together, it's called a column. Zoe, our guide, was fantastic. Super smart, super friendly, she was great. And she helped us figure it out, and for those who can't remember the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite, is a stalactite holds on tight to the ceiling. And a stalagmite might reach the ceiling one day. But ultimately, when they come together, it's a column. This little baby column here, she was saying not very long ago when they were still then they were doing tours in the cave that the tour guide was able to still take a dollar bill and just pass it between the two on the baby column. But not very long ago, it finally met up, became a column, and it'll continue to grow wider and wider and wider as all the years progress. Thought I'd throw that in there for you. so many of those organics that we saw in the cave bacon back at the spiral stairs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so well filtered out. Okay, you'll see this little column at the top. Stalactite, stalagmite hair. Oh. Right? Draperies. And even some more of that cave bacon up there. think about your first caves? We liked it. You liked it? Mm -hmm. What do you think was the coolest part? Um, um, the green stuff. The green stuff? Okay. How about you? I don't really know. What was the coolest part of the cave? All of it. All of it? It was all cool? Should people come down here? Yes. And check it out? Yes. Well, there you go. We had a really good time. It was really cool stuff. We got some excellent footage. Got some cool shots of the girls walking through the caves. So here we go, we're gonna wrap up our walk back to the truck at the Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve. Yeah? Yeah. All right, good job, girls. I gotta lose the jacket, it's kinda warm.
Good morning. Last day alone in Lone Mountain. The uh, we're headed off this morning to go see the redwoods. Aubrey. Yeah. What are the redwoods? Uh, I don't know. What are they? Just these big trees. Big trees. Are they the biggest ever? Yes. Yeah, that's about right. So yeah, Redwoods this morning. Uh, we want to be able to see that, get our passport stamp. And then uh, after that, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do the, the Great Cats World Park and the, the Butterfly Pavilion, the Tiger Preserve. That makes some good footage. But uh, yeah, that's about where we're at today. <laughs> we'll wrap up the video on this one here for this week, this episode, and then uh, pack up with tomorrow morning and head on to California. So we're here in the uh, Redwoods National Forest. Uh, Jedediah, I think is the state park, National Park, State Park. These things are huge, like huge. And I think there's even bigger ones. Like, look, I mean, these things are freaking just massive, Jesus. Like the camera doesn't do it any justice. Let's see if I can catch it this way. So look at that thing right there. That's just. Huge. This is really cool through here. Like I wish we had more time that we could spend through this whole park. This park is so huge. They have five visitor centers. Uh, we're in the Hayuchi. Hayuchi? Hayuchi? I think it's Hayuchi. I thought I said it right the first time. Uh, most northernest visitor center that they have. Uh, and met with the ranger. Kind of told us a cool trail that we can walk. We're gonna give that one a shot. size comparison. I gotta say, I'm not, I can't say I'm a tree guy. Are you you're a tree girl? No. no. I'm not a tree guy either, but these are cool. I am so glad we came, took the time to come here to check out the Redwoods. These are amazing. Like, I'm blown away by how huge and really cool looking these things are. Again, not a tree guy. Not a tree girl. Secretly a tree hugger, though. She did have me hug a tree. I, I hugged a tree and took a picture of it. But this is, this is really cool. I'm glad we came here. Touch it. Okay. Ew, it's slimy right there.
great for diving. This cat's been known to be able to dive 15 feet straight down in the water, coming up under a duck sitting on the surface. But that is a little bit of a harder way to hunt. So another way these guys like to hunt is they'll actually set their claws on the surface of the water, signifying bugs on the water's edge. Fish will then go up thinking they're having a nice snack, but they'll be the snack instead. And Maki here, he's the only fishing cat on the planet that doesn't really like water. <laughs> You gotta bait him in. Ready? And he's leash trained. Yes. Which is fantastic. No, I got to raise him, so he, uh, he hates everybody. He cuddles with me, though. When he was just a little baby, he would sit uh, in the kitchen with him. Last stop here, Great Cats World Park. Right there. You guys get a chance to stop by here and check this place out. It's pretty daggone cool. The cats they have are really phenomenal. They do a really good job taking care of this place, uh, taking care of the cats. They do a really good job. They're pretty knowledgeable. and. Uh, doing the, uh, the whole species survival program they're doing. It's really cool. They've got uh, my favorite, the Jaguar, uh, of course, you know, Carolina Panther fan. Jaguar was really cool, but uh, I totally want everybody to get a chance to say, you know, hey, if you're coming through this part of the Oregon State, stop off and see the great cats. So we're leaving Cave Junction. It's a Friday morning, heading off across the California line, heading down to Lassen National Park now. We had a good time here in uh, Cave Junction, did we? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, uh, what are some cool things we saw? Uh, tigers. Tigers, yeah. Oh, and what's that? That looks like one. The mountain lion. The mountain lion. Yeah, mountain lion. How about you, Scarlett? Uh, the cheetahs. Che there was no cheetahs, but still the big cats. But uh, we're heading out here. Uh, thanks for watching. Like usual, Aubrey. Hit the subscribe buttons, hit the bell, and give us a huge thumbs up. The hugest thumbs up. The hugest thumbs up. Uh, subscribe link down below here, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when we post new videos. Uh, this concludes episode two. two. Episode two. We'll work on episode three here starting tomorrow. California. California. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.